Peter Maguire, the CEO at Exam Australia, joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Peter, thanks so much for joining us. So far, uh, there are no confirmed talks of de-escalation of the Russia-Ukraine situation. In fact, the peace talks have led to uh, no conclusion on day one at least. Uh, do you think that crude could move up further? And what are you penciling in? Because the, uh, we've had the OPEC news flow that has come through as well, and that has caused a further escalation of crude. Uh, what are you looking at over the next couple of days? Well, uh, good morning. A couple of quick things. First off, shortest meeting in history as far as OPEC. So that gives you a, in the sense of the time duration of the meeting. Chaos in the physical markets. We're at 117. We're up the best part of 67, 68% since December from those lows. What's achievable? It's got to be a 125 to 130 handle with risk premium and the uncertainty moving forward. So I'm not here to herald you know, what prices can be. Put our minds back to 08. I was in, uh, in New York when they hit 147, 148 at the NYMEX. So there's every chance you could you know, take a 125, 130 out. We're not very far from it. The volatility at the moment is immense. The velocity of the market to the upside, it's parabolic. And this is where brave traders enter markets. So you've got to be very, very conscious what those moving parts and what can happen. And uh, it's electric at the moment. It's a 24 hour a day market and it's absolutely on fire. Mm. Uh, uh, Peter, uh, you know, the oil market, uh, do, you, do you see, uh, you know, some believe that the last time oil was at 100, which is in 2014, I mean, price, uh, the oil market itself, the physical market itself is a lot more tighter. But views also differ in terms of what will happen, for example, if there's an Iran deal a month down the line. I was reading, for example, City, the city's commodity team believes that oil will go by, head back to about $65, $70. Uh, the JP Morgan team believes that even with the Iran deal, it will not make a dent. They think that prices are heading to about $125. I mean, we're already uh, almost there. What is your sense, Peter? It's divergence between all the analysts, and that's where the confusion lays because everyone's trying to find the middle ground and, and realise what those, um, how it all piecemeals together. But the, the times we've got to be appreciative, we've got critical shortfalls globally mm. in the sense of underinvestment across that whole energy sector over the last matter of, say, three to five years. Then comes the next part. You've got increasing demand post-COVID. So the strong, strong demand, and we really are now starting to take barrels off the market where you should be adding barrels to the market. So you, I think you'll see supply disruptions. I think you'll see other issues uh, manifest themselves in the short term, which in turn can create again more uncertainty as far as price. So where it moves from here, I think it'll be incredibly volatile, very, it'll be a whipsaw and uh, I think you've just got to hold on to your hat because I don't think, uh, I think there's a lot further to go yet. Mm. All right. Uh, Peter, we'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining us and giving us your quick take on crude and which way it's going.